Hey everybody, JB back once again, hopefully with normal order for videos and all that. And right now I'm about to play Deep Freeze, so let's go ahead and get started. I don't really remember too much about this level, except there's a bunch of paths you have to try here that lead to various chips or dead ends like that, unfortunately. So yeah, you want to try everything possible, and as you can see, there's a toggle wall that we have to open up and a teleport to go through. So definitely some things to keep in mind here. So let's see, does this go to the toggle wall or... Okay, yeah, this goes over here. So yeah, we want to go back there when the wall is opened up. Now this level does not give you much time, which is kind of a little bit of a bummer because you need a lot of time to get through all of these slides where they go back and forth and back and forth. So yeah, you really want to get as much time as possible here and avoid making some wrong... Okay, so that was not a good choice. So let's see, let's try this one. Maybe this one will have the right path to that teleport. Of course, we do have to enter that teleport from both sides because uh, there's two exits. Okay, good, here we go. We got one chip there. All right, everything's going well so far. So yeah, this level is made up of a bunch of long ice slides, so there really isn't a whole lot to say about that. So we're just gonna wait here, and where does this go? Does this go anywhere? I'm guessing this is probably a dead end, right? Oh, please don't let this be a dead end, please. Come on. Oh, uh, yeah, this is a dead end. Okay. So we have to backtrack again. Hopefully we'll have enough time to press the green button. I mean, we're already down to 170 or so here. Hey, wait a second. I didn't press down? Wait, why did it do that? Okay, everybody, I'm very sorry about that. For some reason, it chose to go down. I I totally did not press the down arrow key there. That was really weird. Okay, let's hope it doesn't do that again, or maybe my keyboard is just acting funny for some reason. Okay, there we go. Maybe I did accidentally press it, and it's just doing something really funny. So just follow this ball over there and go over here. Now this should be the way to get inside that teleport. Because there's no other way left that we haven't tried yet. Alright, there you go. So now we just need to find the green button and get those two last ships, and we should be A-OK. -okay. Now I want to say I do remember where the green button is, and I think it's this... Whoa, 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 whoa. I think it's this over here. I might be wrong, but I think this is the path. Yes, okay, good. And once again, we'll use backwards force floor boosting. Alright. Thankfully, we didn't run to the ball, which was good. Always good not to run into balls. And was this the path? I forgot. Yes, this was it. Okay, so now that we've gotten all the chips, we can now finally go to that northwest quadrant and find the correct path to take to get some ice skates and I think it's this one possibly maybe not but let's see do 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 uh yes good awesome so that's pretty much all there is to this level it's a pretty simple level overall just got to make sure you're wary of the time limit or aware of the time limit not wary like suspicious all right and speaking of suspicious, we get a strange maze. It's not really that strange, though. It's just like all the walls are very different. They're not conventional walls. Now, these are sockets over here. And as you can probably guess, once you get all the chips, you can blast through all of these. So I'm going to save the chip that you see over there to my right for last. Um, because you can totally save a lot of time by saving that one for last. And for the rest of the time, I'm just going to stick to the right wall because you can pretty much just go through the entire level just following the right wall like this, or the left wall. So thankfully, all the paths here are straightforward, which really helps a lot. And as long as you don't run into these monsters stuck in these traps, you're pretty much going to be alright. Now, yes, there was somebody who made a mod of this level where the monsters were not in traps, and you pretty much had a bunch of bombs that replaced the water and fire 
At least I think they replaced the fire. I know they replaced the water, but you had to lead the monsters to those bombs, and some of the wa some of the water was replaced with walls, so that made it even harder. So yeah, the whole maze concept was pretty much abandoned for a duck and cover sort of thing, where you had to be rather strategic about all that. And as you'll notice here in a little while, there's a bunch of walkers that are located in traps on the other side of the level, and those were running rampant too, so... Yeah, that was quite the mod, alright. And in case anyone is wondering, yes, it was designed by the same person who designed the mods for scavenger hunts and hunts and uh, traffic cop. And yes, I did just break the follow the right wall rule there, but it's pretty much safe to break it at this point. I want to say that there's really not many mazes from this point on. Uh, there are a few that have some sort of gimmick attached to them, like there's that one I talked about with the uh, invisible walls and dirt that's going to be coming up in maybe about four more videos. But um, other than that, not a whole lot else. There are maybe one or two other ice mazes, but not too many conventional mazes like this. We pretty much had most of those at the beginning of the game. Alright, here are the walkers I was telling you about. So just avoid these and go over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, and watch out for those bombs and fire too, because those will get you if you bump into them. Do, 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 do. I'm walking through a strange ma- Wait, I think we had to break our right wall rule here to get this, right? Oh wait, no, this is the chip that was- Oh man. Okay, so much for saving time. Alright, sorry about that. I didn't get to show you my blasting through the toggle walls. Oh wait, but you know what? Okay, I almost said alright and okay at the same time, and it sounded like alright. Like, I don't know, that sounded weird, didn't it? Okay. What I'll do is I'm going to go back to the tog the not the toggle walls, the chip sockets, after uh, I get all these chips, and I'll show you how you can blast through all of them, just for fun. Because I did that when I was a little kid, like, even when I didn't end at the toggle walls, I still enjoyed blasting through them, because it was still fun. I really enjoyed it. So let's just backtrack over there. Whoop, not over there, over here. And you can just run free through these chip sockets. Yay! Alright. Enough chip socket blasting. Let's go to the real chip socket and get out of here. Alright. The next level... This level is really fun. It's If you don't mind messing around with some invisible walls and stuff, it's not too bad. And... Um, I believe the one for here is there. You don't run, run you don't want to run into balls. That's just the main thing you want to watch out for. And did I miss that one? I think I might have missed that one. Let's see. Okay, no, I didn't miss this one. Now there should be some flippers here in this room that will be very helpful. And at this point, you have to find the right way into these rooms with the chips in them. Yeah, this is this is kind of a little bit of a pain, but as long as you just be mindful of where the balls are, you shouldn't be uh, in, too, in too much danger. So just go over here like this. And this, there you go. You don't want to get caught by Mr. Thief there. And this one only has one ball, so that is quite a relief. A circumstance for which I am profoundly grateful. Now in case anyone's wondering what these letters spell, you'll notice that there are four quadrants and thus four letters. So in case you're wondering if this is a password or not, it's sadly not a password. It's uh, It spells the name Dung, and yeah, that is a name. Um, and I really feel sorry for that kid. Whoever That kid growing up, I really feel sorry for him. I don't know if I would want to have the name Dung, but... Yeah. But apparently he was a playtester for this game, so he was able to get immortalized in a Chips Challenge level. How about that? Alright, we're pretty much done, so we can now exit. Sweetness. 
All right, well, the next level is a level that's pretty fun because there are multiple ways to solve it. And the way I'll use is the quick way. And as you can see right here, you can just exit south through the teleport. That is providing that there is a way you can go down through another teleport that leads right up there. And thankfully, there is. Now, this hidden danger that the title talks about, um, you'll see what it is when I go up here. Notice that there's a bunch of uh, monsters um, bouncing around in there. When you hit that toggle button, these gliders will go down to that ice slide, and that's pretty much the hidden danger. So as long as you don't go back to that ice slide, you should be alright. But I'm going to take the quick way, which is to go over here. You can go through that thin wall maze over there, but I'm just going to go right through here. And not worry about collecting any chips, because we don't need to be concerned with that. And yeah, you can see the gliders bouncing around there. These teeth should not be a problem. There is a trap button here, but we will be far away from where they're at. And... Oops. Uh-oh. I seem to have uh, messed this up. I forgot that that was going to happen. Okay. Yeah, let's start this over again. Sorry about that, everybody. I forgot if you get the red key, then that whole thing is a problem. So yeah, if you step off the force floor before you get to the red key up there... You should be alright, but if you do get the red key, then you'll go right through that teleport over to the other side. Yeah, so there we go. Let's do that, and now let's go back over here. I guess we did encounter the hidden danger after all. Oh well. We live and learn, right? Alright, there's our glider buddies there. And now we can do that. Awesome. And we got time for one more level called Scoundrel. And this is a level where you get to uh, face off against some blue walls and invisible walls. But there's a very quick solution in Microsoft once again. Very similar to what I told you about in Forgesborg. Where you can just slide back into the exit. Like that. Now, in case you're wondering, yes, I will show you the long solution. Because it is kind of an interesting solution. And this um, decade message right here tells us about the next level, which talks about running into fake walls on ice, and real walls apparently. And that level refers to this level, which is called Rink, but we won't get to that until the next video. So let's just go here to Scoundrel and just explore around. It's not quite as bad as some blue wall stuff out there. And you can go through here and discover various things, and you'll notice that there are various uh, spots where you can't get stuff. Like, I don't think you can get those flippers. I might be wrong, but I don't think you can get those. I think those are inaccessible. So yeah, you can't get the flippers, and you can't go through here either. There's no entrance into this area from there. So just backtrack over here and just try another entrance to this room. And, okay, that's a dead end. Alright, this goes somewhere, right? Yes, okay, good. A chip. And this goes here. This is kind of like an extended version of Lesson 6, to be honest. It's like, there's extra stuff, there's blue walls, and there are invisible walls somewhere else, I think. I, I thought there were invisible walls. I don't think you can get the skates, either. Although, I don't know where you'd use the skates in this level, because there's really no place where you can actually use them that I know of. All right, there's a red key there. All right, here we go. All right, can we, yes, good, we can get to the chip. And yeah, we can't get the skates. All right, so we can't, we can't go down there. So is there any way we can get to that red key from here? I'm hoping I can finish this before time runs out because we are running out of time here. So hopefully that lost time on Deep Freeze won't kill us. And I don't really know why that toggle button is there. It really doesn't serve much of a purpose. Alright, is there anything we can get here? No, we can't get that. Wow. 
All right, let's try going over here. Oh, man, I just totally missed that. All right, if we don't finish this uh, level in time, guys, uh, I hope you guys got the general idea of this solution. I mean, I have solved the level the busted way, and I hope you guys enjoyed that, but I know it's not quite the same. And there's a blob there I'm not going to even try. Okay. Let's see, can we go over here? I know there's a way you can get in here. All right, guys, I'm going to have to stop the video now. So, yeah, you can just get those chips and exit. So, for now, JB saying goodbye. Thanks for watching.